Welcome to another edition of the Full Octane Garage. Today we're going to do a owner's perspective review of the new 2017 GMC Sierra Crew Cab Denali pickup. Let's check it out. This GMC came with a 5.3 liter Ecotec V8 engine, putting out 355 horsepower and 383 pound foot of torque. Coupled with an 8-speed automatic transmission, four-wheel drive, it will propel the vehicle from 0 to 60 to 7.3 seconds with a gross vehicle weight of 7,200 pounds. All right, we have a key fob. It's got an unlock, lock function, and an auto start. How the auto start works, let's see if this works while we're in it. You push the lock button, Hold down on the auto start and check it out. The truck starts. Because we like to review our vehicles in a owner's from an owner's perspective in a real world scenario, because that's where you're going to be using it. We brought you snow in Tennessee. It is a beautiful afternoon on a Friday after the after a pretty solid snowstorm we got one to two inches of snow and I have to say that the Denali has performed outstandingly um, I've been driving it in the automatic mode so it's got uh, rear wheel drive automatic four wheel high four wheel low and we had pretty icy conditions and a decent snow that had settled in this morning when I got up and left to go to work and so I left it in the automatic mode and uh, really did not have any problem getting around. Again Tennessee this time of the year we don't get snow so much as we get ice and uh, while nothing's perfect in ice this vehicle handled very well. So why the GMC Denali? Well, we did look at a couple other vehicles. Uh, we looked at a couple different lines of the Ford product, the, what is it, King Ranch, and uh, a couple of the XLT products. Looked at the Toyota Tundra. Um, and we settled on the GMC more because while we do use our trucks on an everyday basis, again, I drive about 200 miles a day. I've got over 5,000. We uh, still we, we spend a lot of time on the road with them. They have to be capable of driving in inclement weather and on job sites and things of that nature, hauling uh, material and equipment at times. But generally speaking, um, we use them in an everyday environment, and so they need to be capable for that. Need to be comfortable for that. And this truck has really proven to be awesome on an everyday basis. Uh, it's extremely comfortable great and adjustable driver position. Uh, maybe a little issue with brake pedal compared to positioning compared to where the accelerator pedal is. Uh, but uh, heated seats, cooled seats, heated steering wheel, all are outstanding when uh, we're getting up in an early morning on a day like today. The remote start is a huge plus for me because um, I do keep this vehicle outside. I go out there and let it warm up a couple of minutes before I get in it. Uh, looking at the electronic side of it, Apple Play is a very nice convenience. It does allow me to use some of the applications on my telephone while I'm driving. It's comparatively hands-free in that you can control a lot of it by voice control or you can control it by controls on the steering wheel or you can control it by controls on the uh, information screen or on the buttons below the information screen uh, so there's a several different ways to do it whatever is most comfortable to you uh, it has a v8 engine that has adequate power I bought this vehicle in order to tow a car trailer with a car on it and it's more than capable of doing that um, came with trailer brakes and things of that nature uh, but generally speaking, for an everyday basis, I uh, don't want for power, don't want for torque. It gets comparatively good gas mileage. Right now, I'm sitting at right about 18 miles per gallon. 
it says 16.9 right now, but I've been it's been sitting in the driveway while I've been setting up all the gear on it. But uh, so yeah, so about 18 miles a gallon. I've gotten as much as 24 miles per gallon on the interstate. So that's uh, pretty solid for a truck this size. Uh, capacity, the uh, again the front seats are huge. There's a ton of room in the, uh, for the driver and the passenger. Uh, to be very comfortable in here. Our elbows don't touch when we put them on the center console. Uh, the rear seats are as big as the front seats. A ton of room for three passengers easily. Uh, cargo bed, it's five and a half feet. Um, did find it short for even like I moved my daughter back from college and used this truck and a little short for a mattress, but with the bed extender that I installed, it worked just fine. So on, for the purposes for which I use it for, uh, the capacity is outstanding. Looks, <laughs> what can I say? Definitely the best looking vehicle in the class. Um, Denali does it right. There's Denali badges all over this truck. The huge chrome front uh, grill on the Denali. Uh, the chrome accents on the mirrors and on the sides, on the step rails. The, uh, all the bumpers are painted the same color as the truck, so that really ties it in. Uh, it has a, a gentleman's truck look about it, but it can step up and do the work of a work truck if it needs to, whereas I would say the Ford kind of reversed those roles. The Ford seemed a little more rugged, uh, a little more like a work truck, um, even though it did have comparable amenities to it. But yes, really enjoying the 2017 GMC 1500 crew cab Denali. The interior, how it's outfitted, ah, it's beautiful. It's uh, I elected to go with the black leather interior, uh, black accents. It's got white uh, accent stitching on it, which is beautiful. Uh, it's got some wooden inlays in parts of the console and doors. That's very attractive. Uh, I think they did an outstanding job as far as the aesthetics inside the truck. Love the sunroof. The power sunroof is outstanding. Also has a power rear window with the frosters on it. That's a nice little touch. Well done, GNC. Again, the vehicle does come with um, adjustable pedals. Uh, it has traction control. It has lane avoidance. Um, this truck will just about drive itself, it seems. If you have the... Uh, if you have the lane guidance on, on your GMC, this truck will alert you if you start to veer out of your lane um, audibly with lights, it will vibrate the seat, and it will actually start steering you back into your lane. So that's all pretty handy. When you have it and then you don't have it in another vehicle, all of a sudden you realize that uh, you start to become dependent on it. But yes, it's a very cool feature on the GMC. The uh, GMC Denali makes a very good everyday driver. It's uh, comfortable on the interstate. It's very comfortable on the interstate. Uh, but it's also pretty handy to drive in town. Uh, intimidating at first if you haven't driven a full-size truck before. The crew cab adds quite a bit of length even with the five and a half foot bed. It uh, probably a foot short of fitting into a normal parking spot. Uh, but with the front and rear parking sensors and the backup camera, which I tested the backup camera um, by backing up to a line and when the edge of the line hit the edge of the screen, I got out and it was exactly on the edge of the, uh, the, the vehicle was on, exactly on the edge of the line. So it was very accurate, very good display, uh, kudos to them for that. Of course, the GMC Denali comes with all the standard luxuries you would expect on a trim level of a vehicle like this. It has uh, power, all power locks, all power doors. Um, automatic climate control, heating and cooling. Uh, you can sync or unsync between the driver and the passenger. Again, uh, heated seats, cooled seats, Heated steering wheel, uh, two pass two settings for the driver's side uh, seats 
and it also has a third setting that you can use that's strictly for getting out of the vehicle. We'll, we'll lower everything and all to make it easier to get in and out of the truck and then you push the button for the uh, to put you back into the settings that you were looking for. A big plus with the GMC Denali is all of the power connections. In the front console it has two USBs and then two of the cigarette lighter chargers then 110 volt. In the center console it has two more USBs, an aux in and then another cigarette lighter and then in the back it also has a cigarette lighter and maybe an aux a uh, USB I can't really tell from here but uh, no shortage of places for your you and your friends to charge their electronics uh, another unique item for the GMC Denali is the center console phone charger uh, it's made for just setting the telephone on there while you're out driving around and it will just charge wirelessly uh, there are Android products that are set up for that the Apple products are not um, Apple does have a case that you can put on your phone to make it wireless chargeable capable but I use a Apple 6 Plus and when you put the case on it, it's too large to fit flush and I believe that's what keeps it from charging so uh, with the Apple phone uh, so far at least I have not had the ability to charge it with the uh, wireless charger. As you might expect on a truck of this size, the turning radius is uh, not very tight. But you know it's not very tight and so uh, it's just something you have to deal with. But uh, still maneuvers around town pretty well. Oh, squish. Squish. <laughs> uh, it's a big truck at times. Uh, so would I buy another GMC Denali? Well, with one month behind me, and that's why I did this review, like I waited a month to do this. One, so I would know a little bit more about how the vehicle worked and have a better feel for it rather than dumping it on you the day after I got it. Um, and, but yeah, I love this truck. I, I can say that uh, I'm probably more comfortable driving this than I have just about any vehicle that I've ever owned. Um, that's saying a lot. I've had a lot of vehicles. I've had a lot of nice vehicles at one time or another, but uh, I love this truck um, I look forward to getting into it again. I do 200 miles Every day in it during work and uh, it's a great 200 miles. It's a great place to be in That says a lot seeing as uh, my I come from a Ford family my entire I'm from Detroit originally my uh, Several of my family members have worked for Ford. My dad retired from Ford uh, and we had Fords almost all of our lives, and I did give them an opportunity when we looked at the other vehicle uh, and could have gotten it on the A-Plan, but th this just worked out being not just a better deal, but a better truck in my opinion. Uh, Ford makes a great truck. GMC, as far as the Denali concerned, makes a better one. Thanks for joining us at the Fall Octane Garage. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Click on the little bell so you'll get notifications uh, of our future videos. And please share with your friends. If you got any comments or suggestions, feel free to leave them down in the comments section. Uh, we read all our comments and uh, be happy to give you a reply. Thanks for watching. See you again at the Bullock. When you got no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Because I have a Denali four-wheel drive pickup and I was looking for a chance to ride the crappy stuff.